I'm Jeffrey. I'm a licensed therapist and in this video I'll go over every step that you need to take in order to become a licensed therapist in the state of Florida. Let's get into it. So most likely you're watching this video because you're trying to become a licensed therapist or you're curious about the process of becoming a licensed therapist. I hope this video answers all your questions. If you still have questions after this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. The journey to become a licensed therapist is a long one. So for step number one, we got to go all the way back to high school. The first step is to have relatively good grades in high school, a 3.0 GPA average or better, and decent enough SAT or ACT scores. Typically a good SAT score consists of about 1100 or higher in two subjects. However, this varies from person to person and for the specific university that you're trying to get into. Make sure you also have extracurricular activities, volunteer hours to increase the odds of being able to get into university. The second step is to get into university and major in either psychology or social work. Other related fields like sociology or philosophy may also apply. However, social work and psychology would be the go-to undergraduate majors that I would recommend. These two are probably the best undergraduate majors that you can get into if you want to become a licensed therapist. The third step is to graduate with a GPA of 3.0 or higher. This process usually takes about four years. The fourth step after graduation is to take something called a GRE. Make sure to score about average or above average. I believe this is typically around 150 or higher in each section of the GRE. The scores that you need to get may vary depending on the exact graduate program that you're trying to get into. However, make sure to study a little bit more for the English portion of the exam. This is because typically in therapy, English is much more important than mathematics. So admissions typically prefer somebody who scores high in the English section. It is possible that you can get into some graduate programs without taking the GRE. You just gotta make sure that they are accredited programs. The fifth step is to apply to a KCREP accredited program. This is really important because if the program is not KCREP accredited, then the program may not lead to licensure. So you end up getting a master's degree without the ability to get licensed. The program that you choose should either be a master's in social work or a master's in mental health counseling and make sure that it has the licensure track. Some people get a master's degree in psychology that does not have a licensure track, and then they are stuck with the degree without being able to implement it. The sixth step is to get into the KCREP accredited program and get a 3.0 GPA or higher. Complete all the coursework, practicums, internships, etc. Programs typically take around two and a half years to complete if you work on them full-time. If you work on them part-time, then they will take longer. The seventh step may vary pr from program to program, but that is to pass a comprehensive exam. This is an exam that the school sets that basically tests your knowledge of all the course material that you took during your graduate program. Basically, your school wants to know that you have the basic knowledge from all your coursework to be able to graduate. This exam is fairly stressful. The eighth step is to apply with the licensing board to become a registered mental health intern or a registered clinical social work intern. You will be able to bill Medicaid, but not private insurance. This means that you will most likely work at a community mental health agency for the next little bit. The ninth step is to get hired by a mental health agency. There, you will be provided with a qualified supervisor who will oversee your work. You will need to work there for a minimum of two years, complete 100 hours of supervised hours, and 1,500 hours of clinical work. The tenth step is that you will need to take the licensure test that is set by the state and pass it. Counselingexam.com is a great resource for this exam. Usually, it takes around two to three months of daily practice to be fully prepared for this exam. The 11th step is to take a few courses that take a few hours each and be able to get your certificate in those courses. 
The twelfth and final step is, after passing your exam, completing all your courses, completing all the necessary clinical hours, completing all of your supervised hours, then you apply to become a licensed mental health counselor or a licensed clinical social worker. You will wait two to four weeks, which can feel like an eternity, and then hopefully you become licensed. After you become licensed, then you will be able to get on private insurance panels. That is the process to become a licensed therapist. Let me know down below your thoughts on this process, and if you have any further questions, please put them in the comments down below. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And for more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you in the next one.